morning viewers today we shall see how to convert dxf5 into shapefile in agis that is simply how to move from autocad to agis the first thing to do before we move from autocad to agis is to create or to save this our drawing into a dxf file which can easily be accessed in agis so we go on file we export and uh, we save as sorry we, we, we browse to our destination folder we save as plot we choose uh, the type of file dxf and we save we go now on agis in agis the first thing is to make sure that our coordinate system is the same with the coordinate system in autocad so we uh, change our coordinate system we go on layer we right click property we go on coordinate system and we choose wgx 1984 utm zone 32 north which is the coordinate system of cameroon we apply the next thing we add there we add the dxf file so that we can create shape file from them we can either do, do it by clicking on the add data or we go on catalog on catalog on catalog we add we connect to folder we browse to our folder location where we save our our plot our our dxf file is busy we click maintain drag and paste we apply so here is a dxf file which come as in the form of a layer in the form of a group layer so we now see how we can identify the various group layer which are useless you see for example uh, this one is a uh, you want to present the, the, the labels it's useful this one no use this one no use we remove this one no the polyline we have also the polygon so i will remove this one and this one also i will remove and we are left this one we are left this one now okay so after so now we, these are the two uh, DXF files that we will create a shape file from from them. So to create, we start. We will start first of all with the plot, with the annotation one, which is more difficult to create shape file from it than the polygon. We will start with so for this to create an a shape file from an annotation, C C E D or cat we go we first of all go on the on the layer on the folder we right click we go on new we create a, a new field database on the new field database we right click again sorry we right click and create a new feature data set which we call it a uh, plot and it must have the same coordinate system as the other the one is the, the coordinate system for the for the attitude which is wts zero okay and finish line now we now create import we now convert to a data is a geo database annotation so we are click on the annotated dsf file and go on convert to geo database annotation so that we can easily obtain is the shape file from it so we we clear we clear we choose the cut annotation which is uh, uh, that we want to create a geo database annotation from it plot yes we choose uh, uh, annotation and plot yes we go we, we choose our output folder uh, it should be here in the same folder we give a name plot plot uh, sorry we choose we, sorry we choose uh, 
to the folder is the folder our output feature class we want it to be plot no let me see annotation and no okay shun I will see if uh, we okay we wait for a minute for the the CRD to be added also as we see it appears here so it's okay close you can also go and check it under the the feature data set this is the geo data base annotation so now we are going to right click on this and export it to a single shape file we input uh we choose the geo database annotation on our folder is it we input our, our location folder what you want to our location folder our location folder yes we go out we want to locate it here we add our output folder annotation simply annotation and we okay we wait for a minute for it to trans, trans, uh, transform it to a shift file so yeah it, is, it appears automatically it appears and you can see the result here it appears you decide shift file now we uh this one is useless we can remove it I through that one mm. I through this one we can remove this one it does not export now the polygon it does export the polygon you right click go on export data we export to the same data framework we choose our destination folder here we call it a uh, as a plot polygon of the plot and we save as save file okay and we add and we also do you want to add the export data to the map yeah yes it appears so this one now we cannot delete this one so we open now this is our polygon you can see it you can remove the color so that you can easily see you don't want no color you want to call this it and this now is our mm, annotation also which came as uh, which came out as polygon so you can annotate so you can see you go on label property property normally it will appear in text stream so the name of the annotation of the, of the labels will be text stream you can check you right click on the annotation you go on uh, attribution table and you check you will see that the name is uh, of the label is, uh, is text in text is it somewhere here let me see check the text stream or simply text or in all text to apply and there is it you can choose the color let me see red and increase so the and the label you can go and check it you can check it whether the on for the the, the label the label fee it should be text the text fee or text stream something like that. you can verify it after you apply and it's our shift file so we can so we can remove this uh you can remove this color this uh, polygon you don't want any polygon no color no no out all your and it appears so that is uh our shape file that have been created as you can see you can now edit and play it the way you want so that comes to the end of this uh, tutorial for any worry or suggestion please contact us on our page and do not forget to like share and comment and for those who are not yet members to our channel please subscribe so that you will be alerted of on our subsequent coming our subsequent coming and uh, tutorials thanks for watching and stay tuned